In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate the standard deviation for a population. The first thing I want to emphasize is in the equation here that instead of using an S or an SD, we have sigma. The second thing is instead of an X bar, we have a mu. And instead of an N minus 1, we have a capital N. And this is because we're looking at a population instead of a sample. I know from teaching this class that when it comes to asking test questions, sometimes you'll simply be asking sigma equals, and then here are the numbers. Calculate whatever you need to do. And you're going to need to know what sigma is, what mu is, what n is compared to the sample variance. So just making sure that that's emphasized here because that may be the same situation that you're in in the class that you're taking. When it comes to the numbers, I'm using the exact same numbers as I did for the sample because I want to emphasize that the process is exactly the same given what happens at the very end. So instead of a sample numbers, these are population numbers. And if you want to look at the video for samples, I'm going to be linking it in the description and it'll probably show up somewhere on the, the video at some point. The first thing you do is you calculate mu if mu is not given to you. In some cases, mu will be given to you, but if it's not, it's the exact same calculation as x bar. It's the summation of the x's over n, so it's 2 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 over 4, which gives you 28 over 4, which gives you 7. The next thing is to take each x and subtract it by mu and then square it. So just like x bar, it's the exact same process. 2 minus 7 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared plus 9 minus 7 squared plus 12 minus 7 squared. So our numbers subtracted by the mu squared. And just like before, we have negative 5 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 squared. So we have 25 plus 4 plus 4 plus 25, which gives you 58. So now that we have 58, let's just plug it in and find out what the answer is. So we have sigma equals the square root of 58 over n, which equals the square root of 58 over 4, which gives you 3.808. So obviously this is rounded. So that's really where the change is. Everything else is the same, but it's at the very end. Instead of dividing by n minus 1, you're dividing by n because you're looking at the population. I will be going into why there's a difference between uh, the calculations. Uh, it has to do with deals with degrees of freedom, but we'll, we'll go into it uh, in, a, in another video. If you found this to be helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on this, like explaining the difference between n and n minus 1 used for the sample and, and population standard deviation calculations. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy, my friends.